Has your computer gotten slower as it gets older? Have you tried to do everything you could possibly think of to pep it up, but nothing seems to work? Have you watched dozens of YouTube videos on how to make your computer faster, but even after doing all of that, it really doesn't seem to make much difference? Or maybe you just thought of tossing the computer out the window and going and buying a new one. But maybe buying a new computer and dealing with the headache of setting it up and getting all of your stuff transferred from one computer to the other just isn't in the cards, or might not even be in the budget. But perhaps the problem is not the Windows installation on your computer. It could very well be the old mechanical hard drive that you have pre-installed. And despite your best efforts, it just won't go any faster. Now with computer hard drive prices at historical lows, perhaps you should consider upgrading to a faster digital drive over the mechanical hard drive that you might have. And compared to the cost of a new PC, in addition to the headache and cost of migrating everything from one to the other, you might be surprised at how inexpensively you can actually upgrade to a faster digital drive and turn that old slow mule into a thoroughbred racehorse. Or at the bare minimum, at least make that old computer a little bit faster and a little peppier so you can use it for a little bit longer. Today I'm going to show you the actual speed differences between a traditional mechanical hard drive, an SSD drive, and an M.2 drive. If you're still using a mechanical hard drive, I think the results are going to shock you. And in addition to showing you the differences in boot speed, I'm also going to show you the speed at which programs open between the three different drives. This will give you a much better idea of which drive makes the most sense for you based on your needs. Not just how quickly the computer boots up, but how quickly the programs actually open when you click on them. And for many people, that is the single biggest issue they have with their current computer's performance. Now everyone's situation is unique, so stick around to the end to get my opinion on what you should do based on what your needs are. I'll also break down a cost estimate for each of the scenarios so that you can make an educated decision on what you should do next. I'm running an M.2 drive in my current computer. Now not everybody watching will have M.2 capability on their computer because that option is specific to the motherboard of your computer. But if you have a little bit older computer or you got a really good deal on it, it's probably because you have a mechanical hard drive versus a digital hard drive. Upgrading to an SSD or an M.2 is not only surprisingly affordable, but also very simple to do. So for this explainer, I duplicated my existing Windows installation onto a mechanical hard drive and also an SSD drive. I did this using a process called cloning, which I'll explain as we go along. But the reason I did this is because each of these drives will have the same exact image on them. They will have the same files, they will have the same operating system, everything will be identical. The only thing that is different is the physical drive that's booting, and that's what we're going to compare. Assuming that you have the right hardware and connections available on your computer, upgrading to a SATA drive or an M.2 drive may only cost you the actual cost of the drive. Everything else you need is free. Now if you don't have the available connections on your computer, there are other options and I'll explain those as well. But you can purchase this equipment at relatively low cost, certainly cheaper than replacing your computer. We'll discuss this as we go along and I'll put product links down in the description for you to make it easy. If you don't know the difference between a mechanical drive and digital drives, let me briefly explain that to you. This is what's called a mechanical drive. There is platters inside, very much like record albums, and data is written to those in a series of ones and zeros. It's a mechanical process. Up until the age of digital drives, this was basically the way that everybody did it. Files are written to these platters using a little magnetic read-write head and it's a physical process so it does take a little while. So this is the next step in the evolution of hard drives. This is called an SSD drive. If you look at the connections on the mechanical drive and the SSD drive, they are identical. All you need to make it work is a data connection and a power connection. Just like your mechanical drive, this will work the same exact way. The difference is this has no moving parts, so this is automatically gonna be about 10 times faster than this one. Now the last step in the evolution of drives so far is this. This is called an M.2 drive. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different than traditional hard drives. This usually has to connect onto your motherboard or an add-on card. So if you have a connection on your motherboard that looks like this, you might be able to do that. But at bare minimum, if you have a traditional hard drive that has these type of connectors, you can absolutely upgrade to an SSD very easily, very quickly, very inexpensively. Now, the main reason that an SSD drive is always going to be faster than a mechanical drive is because of the way the data is written to the drive. Again, this is mechanical, so everything has to go through an actual piece of hardware and writes to platters on the drive. With this, everything is written digitally. It's written onto chips that are on a circuit board. No moving parts, which means everything moves way faster, including booting your computer, opening programs, anything you do on your computer, it's going to be faster easily just because you are using all digital instead of mechanical. 
So just how much faster is an SSD or M.2 versus a mechanical drive? We're about to find out. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my mechanical drive into my external drive reader, and then I'm gonna clone it. So to clone or duplicate this drive, I'm using a free program called Macrium Reflect. I'll put the links down in the description. You can click on it, it is 100% free. In this case, my existing drive is the M.2 drive. I'm gonna use that as my source and I'm gonna use the mechanical drive as my target. All I wanna do is create an exact duplicate of my existing setup onto this other mechanical drive. So the light is blinking and that means data is being copied. So the cloning process is completed. Now I'm going to restart the computer and select the mechanical drive as my primary boot drive. Now as expected, because it's a mechanical drive, it is gonna take a lot longer to boot. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through that process for you so you don't have to sit and wait. After what seemed like an unbearable amount of time, the computer finally booted with the mechanical drive. It took five minutes and 33 seconds to go from completely off to the Windows desktop. If you have an older computer, you might be seeing similar results as well. So now we know how fast the computer will boot. Let's see how fast it actually opens a specific program. Now for all of these tests, I'm gonna use the same program on each machine. In this case, I'm gonna use App Timer to tell me how fast OpenOffice runs. So using app timer with open office you can see the very first execution it took almost five seconds for the program to open so now we know what the mechanical hard drive is capable of the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clone this ssd drive and then compare the performance between the mechanical and the digital so just as we did with the mechanical drive now we're going to put the ssd drive in our external drive reader and then we're going to clone it and then see what kind of performance it gives us Okay, so now we have the SSD drive cloned. Now it's time to restart the computer and boot to it and let's see what kind of difference we have. Well, as you can see, there is a huge advantage going from a mechanical drive to a SATA SSD drive. In this case, it took my boot time from about nine minutes to just over a minute start to finish. That's pretty impressive. Now let's compare how fast the apps open with the SSD drive compared to the mechanical drive. So as you can see here, it took less than a second to open the first copy of OpenOffice and then less than three tenths of a second to open each additional one. So there's no argument that the SSD is so much faster than the mechanical drive. This is where you would see a real benefit in your day-to-day -day usage when you open programs. So now we know the speed difference between a traditional mechanical drive and an SSD drive. Now what we wanna do, for those of you who actually have the ability, is compare both of those to an M.2 SSD drive. This is certainly gonna be much faster than a traditional drive. Let's see what happens. So just like with the mechanical drive and the SSD, we're gonna insert the M.2 drive into the external drive reader and get it cloned. After the clone is complete, we're now going to reboot, select this drive, and see the difference of performance. So 52 seconds for the M2 drive and 59 seconds for the SATA SSD drive. Not a whole lot of difference between those two, but a huge difference between that and the mechanical drive. So now, once again, we want to compare the speed of the programs with the M.2 drive versus the SATA drive and the mechanical drive. So we're going to once again open up App Timer, run the same exact program, and as you can see, after it's completed, you're looking at initial start of less than 28 hundredths of a second, and each additional run is approximately three tenths of a second. That is very fast. So I've got all three app timer comparisons here on the screen. As you can see, the mechanical hard drive, again, took almost five seconds to start, but the follow-up executions for the program were still pretty fast. The SSD drive started in under a second, and each subsequent execution was approximately three hundredths of a second and then the m.2 drive i ran it again and it was actually a little slower on the second one but even still seven tenths of a second with 0.26 seconds execution each additional time so in this particular example you can see there's a huge difference between the mechanical drive and the ssd drive so in practical terms what does this really mean for you well if you have a mechanical hard drive aside from the huge boot up speed difference the individual programs opening several seconds faster, it's going to seem like a new computer if you decide to upgrade. 
SSD drives now are easily under $50 and the performance increase you can see just by going from a mechanical drive to an SSD is huge. An SSD drive is an absolute no-brainer when it comes to giving that old computer a kick in the pants. Now the last question you should be asking yourself if you're considering upgrading versus replacing your computer is how much is this going to cost? The good news is if you have a desktop computer and you have a free available power connection off your power supply and a free SATA data connection off your motherboard, then it doesn't cost you anything other than the cost of a drive. The software that you need to clone your old drive to your new drive is absolutely free. This is a PNY one terabyte SSD drive for about $35. So for literally under $40, you can upgrade and have 10 times the performance you currently have. Now, if you have a desktop that, for example, doesn't have available power connections, where you could just put a second drive in and clone it, or you have a laptop, there are other options. Now, what you can do is you can buy something like this, which is just called an external dock for around $50, which is an external drive bay that you can use to connect to your computer, clone your drive to your new drive plugged into this, and turn around, swap the drives out, and you're ready to go. Now, I also normally use this thing right here, which is a four port docking station, but that's a little extreme for most people. Now, the one thing that I did just recently pick up that I would definitely recommend for not a whole lot more is get you one of these. This is actually made by Sabrent. What it does, it gives you the option to use this part as your external drive storage. So you could just literally have a drive plugged in here. But what it does, it's also a built-in cloner and it also does M.2 drives as well. So it works as a dock station, but it's offline cloning too. So you could literally put a drive in here, hit the right switch, turn it on and just a few minutes later, you've got an exact duplicate. This would be a great long-term solution for you if you get into cloning your drive frequently. This one is around $75, so it's not much more than a single drive enclosure, but it does give you the option of offline cloning, which I absolutely am in love with this thing. This is what I'm using from now on instead of this old beast. I'll put links for all the stuff down in the description, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to point you in the right direction. So I hope this video was helpful for you in deciding whether or not Upgrading to an SSD or M.2 drive makes sense not only for your time, but also for your budget. By the time you watch this video, you should have this video right here showing you exactly how to clone your hard drive in just a few easy steps. Thanks so much for watching.